a mother reported to the clinic with her 40 days old child there is a small ulcer which is seen on the tongue which is tender and there are erupted teeth in the mandibular anterior alveolus we have been asked the most appropriate treatment plan in this situation now the clinical uh, picture of this child is going to look something like this where there are these erupted teeth which are present in the mandibular anterior alveolus okay and we can see there is an ulceration on the tongue now this ulceration has been formed because during suckling the tongue is going to rub against these uh, natal or neonatal teeth right and because of this friction there is this traumatic ulcer which has developed now this clinical situation was termed as the riga fed disease or the riga fed syndrome okay this is very important this could again be asked in the examination as a separate question now the riga fed disease is usually associated with natal or neonatal teeth okay so now masler and savara they are the ones who classified this they said that if a child is born with teeth present since birth okay so if the teeth are present since birth then they are known as natal teeth but if the tooth erupts within the first 30 days of life okay so that is within the first month if the teeth erupt these are known as neonatal teeth now the riga fed syndrome is associated with both natal and neonatal teeth and this usually occurs because there is any sharp uh, edges seen on the tooth structure which is causing traumatic ulceration to develop on the uh, surface of the tongue especially during suckling activity okay so this is uh, this ulcer which is going to be tender and painful is going to interfere with the nutrition of the child because he is not going to be able to suckle because there will be pain during suckling right so the child's nutrition uh, will fall so this is very detrimental to their health so it needs to be this this uh, clinical situation needs to be intercepted now how will we intercept this or what will be the correct treatment plan it depends completely on this tooth which is present here okay now sometimes what can happen is the these natal or neonatal teeth may not be uh, teeth at all okay they might just be small conical yellowish or hypoplastic enamel with poor failure okay and some may not even have roots which are present okay so now if there is any mobility with this calcified structure that is seen on the alveolar ridge this means that root development has not taken place or the root development is poor or absent now in these situations there is a risk of uh, inhalation or aspiration of this tooth so this tooth could come loose and the child might aspirate it so this is a risk for the child right now in these kind of situations we will extract the tooth okay because there is poor root formation we will extract the tooth however if there is no mobility with the tooth and there is some amount of root development that is seen okay there is a possibility that the, these natal or neonatal teeth might actually be a part of the primary dentition so these actually could be the primary teeth which have erupted earlier than usual so in those situations we can't just go ahead and extract them okay so what we can rather do is if there are any sharp edges which are seen on these teeth we can smoothen them out so that this traumatic ulceration that occurs because of these sharp edges is going to reduce okay and this ulcer can heal so if you look at the options that are given in our question the first one is remove the tooth under la okay now we can't go ahead and just remove this is not a very conservative approach for treatment because there is a possibility that this could be a primary tooth right so we cannot just go ahead and remove the tooth unless there is mobility seen okay so none of that is mentioned in the question whether the uh, erupted teeth has any mobility they have only told us that teeth have erupted in the mandibular anterior alveolus right so we can't go ahead and just remove the teeth now take an iopa if it is a primary tooth then save it and do coronoplasty so this seems like a appropriate treatment uh, approach the third one says advise the mother that it is a primary tooth and the roots will develop later and no treatment is required now although this may sound uh, like the right treatment approach no iopa was taken okay there there is no mention of whether or not it is actually a primary tooth 
and secondly no treatment is done so there is no interception or there is no relief for the patient from this ulceration that has formed right this coronoplasty is the most conservative approach that is inter that is some sort of an intervention that is going to prevent this ulceration that is forming because this ulceration is a, is a result of the trauma because the tongue keeps uh, rubbing against the tooth which is causing the ulceration so if the surface of the tooth is smooth then it will not cause any ulceration now here there is no interception that is done so there is no way that there will be relief for the child from these ulcerations in the fourth option we have been told apply la gel on the tongue and counsel the mother that no treatment is required now this again is a very symptomatic treatment because the tongue is tender we are only applying la gel now this is very temporary uh, this is going to give only temporary relief to the child because the la gel is only going to act for a short amount of time after which the ulceration is going to continue or, or the pain is going to come back right which is going to interfere with the child's nutrition and no treatment is required so no interception is done to correct the etiology of the cause right so although the third and the fourth option may sound correct they are actually not correct because there is no interception that is being done to correct the uh, patient's uh, etiology right so the most apt answer or the most apt treatment plan would be to first determine whether the tooth is just a calcific uh, a congregation that is seen okay which may is mobile or not mobile whether it is a primary tooth or not so first step will be to determine that and second step would be to remove the etiological cause for the ulceration on the tongue that is if there are any sharp edges then to do coronoplasty in order to remove that etiological factor so that the ulceration the ulcer can heal and the child can continue with the nutrition as usual so the correct answer will be 